Hello viewers and welcome back to CoPlay. Today we lost some footage. Uh, we lost footage of three videos of us actually doing it in the moment, so we're going to do some voiceovers here. But anyway, in this video we're going to be playing our Guild Wars 2 series. We're going to be continuing it, and... Last episode we were in a war. It was just two of us against a bunch of other people, so we lost a lot, and we got really frustrated, so we went to a different area, and we got a waypoint. And so now we are here in this area. Now we're here in this area. I'm jumping. <laughs> 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 Alright, oh yeah, so in the beginning here, we decided that we wanted to run down here and try to start this, um, this event that's going on over here. And we're trying to dodge these monsters that are trying to kill us while we get over there. I think Rachel lags behind, like always. Yeah, well, no, I was trying to avoid them, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, who would face okay. Metzley? Come. And then we, did, we you see that... Oh, try. wait a second. We can't do it from here, so it says talk to this guy in our little quest log. Oh, I guess first we try to kill this guy because he was chasing us. And I'm still trying to get the hang of this freaking thief. I just, I just can't get the hang of him. I'm just really bad with him. But like I said before, I'm going to be switching my elementalist when we get to level 30, unless you guys just really don't want me to. Anyway, so we have to talk to this guy to start this quest, we decide, because it's not letting us start it. So we talk to this guy and decide I have to be a crab. and Who to be stupid crabs. <laughs> yeah. And also, we didn't know if we could do this, because we were the only ones, and usually these group ones kind of you need a lot more people for them. So here's Rachel trying to figure out how to do it, and now she finally does it. Get in there. And then I see that this guy's blocking, so I'm like, oh, well, I guess I don't attack him while he's blocking. And I basically get owned here, because we don't have anyone else in this event, so we decide, hey, let's not do this event, because no one else is Breathe. here to help us. So, I so, yeah, am down. Yeah. So I go ahead and use my teleport spell, and then I bandage myself, because... Since I'm a human now, apparently he doesn't attack me anymore. <laughs> I'm going in circles, apparently. So, yeah, and Rachel's still... Doing something. <laughs> doing her thing. Nope, I died. And now I watch her <laughs> and he leaves throw you alone things. Because she's dumb. <laughs> and then I help, because I decide, oh wait, since she's in human form, I can help her now. Now that we decide we can't do that event, we go ahead and try to get the heart done in this area, which is to kill these guys, and revive the dead guys, and tear up some tribal markers, like the one laying right. Repairing them. Or repairing them. Okay. Repairing them. And I think in a second here we actually accidentally t attack a bird. So that sucks. So as I said, we can revive these guys to get some points for this quest, so that's what I'm doing now. Thank you for helping. And I decide that I'm gonna, um, since Rachel's over there doing some of her inventory stuff, I decide I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. And I look around, I have to find all the salvage items and things that I don't need to salvage. So that's what I'm doing. I decide I don't need that dagger anymore because I'll get a better one later. And I lag really bad, apparently. There we go. And then now I show you guys a cool feature that's in Guild Wars 2. You can actually right-click on these items. In a second. Yeah, see, you can right-click on these items and hit Deposit Collectible. And then when you do that, it actually goes into, like, your bank collectibles. And when you're at, like, a, a place where you craft items and stuff, which we'll show you a little bit later, you can get them out. So in most games, you know, you have to run all the way back to the bank, deposit the stuff, and then go on your quest. Well, in this game, it's like, why waste time doing that? You just right-click it, you deposit it from here, and and then I get randomly attacked by this dude, and then I start attacking him because he's me. And I still suck. I need healing. Seriously. And I almost die. So I continue my deposit collectibles, which is a really neat. Wow, I had 31 of those. I didn't even realize that. And I decide that I'm gonna go ahead and do all Freaking this. Do all your mail. And Rachel actually starts dying right here, so I'm like, oh, wait a second. So I close out of it and run over and try to help her. And then she says, oh, never mind, I'm dead. So I continue. 
and gave me a lot of little things. Now I decided to go over here and try to help Rachel out because she's dead. Which you guys didn't get to see. And for some reason I decided to attack these guys. But that didn't work too well because I got killed or mobbed by everybody so I just ran away. And I'm still not used to my thief. I'm just teleporting all over the place. I have no idea what I'm doing. Still running away. And there's still nobody here for that freaking event, which sucks. So now I run over here and I'm like, oh well, let's dodge this guy because... And then I think I hit a spell here, which makes me mad. Is this where I did it? I think it is. Oh, maybe not. No. That was later. Okay, never mind. And then I try to kill this guy and decide that I can. I do eventually kill him. Just, like, almost die. And later on, I figure out that I should be using F1 a lot more, because apparently that skill is, like, really good. Or at least I think it is. Again, I don't know much about thieves. And I'm still lying on the ground dead. Yep. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I might as well... I offered to, you know, go to a waypoint, yep. but he said he'd save me eventually, so... Yeah. And then I'm healing her, and I'm healing her, and I'm telling her she's boring right around this part. I'm telling her that she needs to not me. die. <laughs> and she's alive. Booyah. Yeah. You had some lag spikes, didn't you? No, that's the that my computer's doing. Oh, really? Yeah. It didn't actually lag this much. The video we're watching back right now is lagging a lot, but it's actually just the playback. It's not actually the game. It sucks, because we can't see some of this. <laughs> yeah. So if we're talking a little late, sorry about that. But And Rachel's standing there like a lump on a log. <laughs> Man, waiting for you. <laughs> Eventually we get into a party. I think. We're not in one yet. Yeah. Would you like to add anything? I mean, you're just, you know, you're just talking for the both <laughs> of us, so I'm just going to continue to let you do that. I mean, we pretty much are watching your screen, and I don't really remember everything I was doing, so... I was pretty much doing what you were doing, I don't know. Okay. Come eventually. No, we come down here. I actually don't remember going down there. But Flanking strike. Oh, that's... I, I was using my water skill down there in the lake, and I unlocked a new skill. My second skill. And now I'm still getting used to that teleporting all over the freaking place spell. Which I suck at. I could outrun a centaur. Oh, it's a monkey stuff. Okay, is that yeah, see when I use that spell, I think that's I might be wrong. But I, I figured out I'm gonna start using F1 a lot more, like I said, so you guys might see these guys go down a little easier. That's what the bird attacked. Oh, I'm in bad shape here. Yeah. This then, is crazy. He's a crazy bird. But then I wasn't healing, so I decided, hey, we need to kill him because I'm not healing. So now we're attacking him. And he almost kills me, so I teleport away and run. Because <laughs> and suck. I keep attacking him like a boss. <laughs> Even though you got full health. <laughs> I did. Okay. See, I had to heal up. I need healing. Seriously. <laughs> Still killing these crates. And I did something that I didn't know what it was, and I was like, look, I made Poofed little confetti feathers. go everywhere. <laughs> Me looking at my F1 skill again. Rachel's cat. Oh. And this playback is messing us up. Oh, I wonder why that happened. Mm. Mm. Let's try doing it on that screen. <clears throat> Almost done with this quest. I'm uh, about a couple more kills away, I believe. But then Rachel's got a couple more. Yeah, I had like a behind a little bit because I think you got um, more of those little um, markers. markers than I did. Yeah. yeah. And I decided, hey, look, the bird's attacking the crate. I'll just let them fight, fight and then I'll go over there and kill both of them. And I'm uh, like I do now. reviving people over there. Rachel's off in the distance. Yeah, I'm reviving that guy. That toad guy. These toad guys are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're cute. They got, like, They're armor like, thank on. you for helping. And I'm like, yeah, man. 
armored toads. Invite to a party, eventually. <laughs> yeah, we finally get into a party, because we never are in a party when you're stuck. I found this turret. And I found this turret, yep. And I'm like, how do I use this thing? Oh yeah, I click number one. And then I try to use it, and it says it can't shoot that way. And I say, okay, well, I'm done with this thing now. Hm. Even and I end up using one back there. And now I'm almost done. A couple more kills, like I said. Frog people. Frog village. Oh. Went a little fast there. Yeah. It is good you have it. Great. And now the toad is battling the lizard thing and helping me. Oh, that's where I used F1. You guys saw her get poisoned right there. I was like, oh, that's cool. And it's probably what I should have been doing this entire time. Got a nice staff drop there. Precise staff. There I come from the turret. <laughs> All who would face Metzli, come! I will and it sounded like that guy was like saying he's going to start an event, but I, nothing ever started, so I was a little confused there. I thought that guy was saying, hey, event time. Thank you for helping Checking things out, trying to get my last. I believe this is where I finish it. Right here, yep. Yeah, I'm a couple of uh, people behind. Yep, and now that we're on the hard that is kind of in my that icky stuff, but it's F1, so. That's weird. I think it's that. I still don't know if it's that stuff or not, but. I don't know. I wonder if I'm like grabbing his glands and like squeezing them all over the place or something, you know? <laughs> Almost attacked that bird, but decided that's not a good idea. I revive once again. This and is my Rachel's last guy. Almost done here. Yep. yep. Then I get done. Now Rachel's Thank done. You for now helping. we search for something else to do. Walk back over here one final time to see if there's anybody else doing this event, and there's not. So we're like, well, we might as well go somewhere else. So I'm looking around, and Rachel's like, oh look, there's a vista. Vista. And Rachel wanted to do the vista, so we decided that we're going to go ahead and go to that vista. And I mark it here, and then we go towards it. And here's where I'm like having orgasms over the amazing graphics in the water. Even though I'm set to low, I'm set to low graphics, but the water still looks amazing. Just love the graphics in this game. Look, I was just admiring them and going up and down and having orgasms all over the place. <laughs> then I'm like, oh yeah, we're doing something. So I continue. And I use the skill for no reason because I wanted to see what it did, but I forgot. And then I saw this big tuna shark, and I was like, wait, this isn't a tuna, this is a shark. It's like a fish-shark hybrid. He's like crazy looking. Science has gone too far. <laughs> yeah, really. And then we find this little parkour rock thing going on. Get into that vista. We love that parkour, don't we? Yeah, so there's this cool little part where you're like jumping, and you have to like get on this really narrow stick. And I do it the first time, and I back up a little bit, and Rachel misses and falls. <laughs> Per usual. I don't want to disappoint anybody. And then I think I'm going to overshoot here, so I stop, and then I end up undershooting. Yeah, undershoot. So, we give it another go. I think Rachel gets it this time, too, doesn't she? Don't you? No, maybe this is the time. Uh, uh, I get it this time around. No, we I both, believe. I think we both did, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. we're, like, jumping together. <laughs> That's right, yeah. We're like, wee! And then I decide not to try to undershoot at that time, because... I did just fine the first time. And I have belches. Okay. Alright. Got a stick thing. Going up the stick thing. Stick things are fun. <laughs> Alright, here's where I was like, it was like weird because I kept jumping and I kept like hitting something in the air. And Anyway, I finally get up to this vista and I'm like, look, this is beautiful. Oh. And this is very neat. I thought we were going to go underwater there, but we didn't. And right around here, I take a screenshot so it lags for just a second. I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. I need to take a screenshot. And I think it's right here. Right there. Yep, there's where I took the screenshot. It makes it lag a second, which kind of sucks, but oh well. At least you get it. It's probably to prevent... I'm still viewing the vista. Yep, and then I'm like, what should we do next? And I'm like, oh, well, there's an undiscovered point of interest. We decide to go down there, go to the depths, and try to find out what that thing is. 
So I go ahead and mark it for Rachel. And then we jump into the ocean, lake, river. Thing. I hit that rock right there. And Rachel, yeah, hits that rock. And it sucks. She's like, bam, and she loses a bunch of health. Yeah, right there. Yep. And I was like, poor kitty. You almost killed your kitty. No, he's a beast. And I said, look at this jellyfish. He's skeletal looking. And then I proceed. And I get hit by a random thing that I didn't know what it was. Then I decide, oh, it's this guy. And I My leg! <laughs> and this is where I decide it's probably not a great idea to just run in here and not kill anything. But we get it, and I'm like, okay, now let's haul ass out of here. So I run as fast as I can out of here. If we could run in water, that's what I'd be doing. <clears throat> so we get that, and I'm like, well, what the heck do we do now? Because the closest thing is way over there on the map. As you'll see me decide in just a second. Oh, this is where I'm like, there's a world event going on. There's a little world event thing. And I was like, what's a world event? But I think I remember the world events like the big boss things. I think, anyway. But eventually I'm like, should we go here? And then Rachel's like, no, there's this big town thing here. And I said, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So we're heading to this town thing. To get the waypoint. So if we die in this area, we can go back to the town thing. And here's where Rachel discovers her hunter thing. Oh, yeah. Um, as we come along, we got some bird and stuff after we kill these little things. Um, yeah. But yeah, I couldn't figure out before how I had made a pet. And it turns out that specific animals, I think they have to say juvenile something or something. And you charm them into liking you and they become your pet. That is why I have like a random spider I guess I must have done that at some point. So we can do that in our epic part. Yeah. Uh so I didn't want yeah, I didn't want that. Pink and there's Moa. the pink mo that we were talking about. So yeah, so that that'll be nice, you know, coming in handy later if I ever find a really cool animal. I wanted that panther thing from our previous videos, but I did not see a juvenile one apparently, so but at least we get to see some here. There's another one. Yeah, there I take a closer look at it, and I'm like, cool. Yep. If you are my class, you can get pets. Alright, so as we come in here, I decided to go talk to the scout, because she kind of shows you the area. The scritch of the ruins of the Unseen have been increasingly aggressive lately. They don't bother us much, mostly staying in their caves. But it may be a sign of things to come. Some Asuran researchers are trying to learn why this group is so hostile by studying them. I'm sure they'd appreciate any help you can give. You do it. Alright, and then i like, oh wait, we're in a town here. So I run over to get this waypoint real quick, so I, we, if we die, like I said, we can come back to this town. And then I decide while I'm in town here, it looks like we've got some crafting professions and everything. I said, well, now is as good a time as any to show you guys the whole crafting. Goodest. Best. Did I say goodest? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay though. No, I said as good as oh. any time. It's not like it's a goodest no. time. Anyway, so I decide um I need to craft and you should guys the crafting stuff and remember how I deposited everything in the collectibles? Well as you'll see here when I actually figure out which one's the leather working station, I which found I it first. Rachel found it and told me, Oh, this is it. I need able bodied and able minded. I'm about to talk to this guy. You look at least half the And that guy was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I te he teaches me leatherworking. And I leave and I try to get to the station. Alright, so here I'm at the station. So this is the crafting station where you see all your recipes and everything. And you can go ahead and um, craft things from this panel. Or there's a different tab called the discovery tab right here. In this discovery tab, you can drag random items down and discover new recipes to make. It looks like at, the, at this time I didn't have the necessary components to discover a new item. And then I go ahead and go down to my bank slot to show you guys everything that I deposited in the component slots before are all in here. So instead of having to run to the bank and everything, I was able to just deposit it all here and now I can use it all. Also, another cool thing about this is you actually don't even have to take it out of the bank. Um, all this stuff is readily available as soon as I call it up, as you can see. So it acts like it's in my inventory, even though it's not. So 
So then I decide, well, leatherworking is probably the best one for me. So I, want, I look and see which ones I need. I look through, trying to find my inventory stuff, and Hi. I eventually get back into the well, thing because I'm having trouble here getting back into There it is. All right, so I get back in here, and I decide, what do I need to make boots, I believe? Or no, first I wanted to make this eight-slot rawhide uh, leather pack, which increases your inventory slots just like a bag in any... Thing. Make sure you don't hit craft all or you make four of them. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nifty if you if do you wanna want make to make all of four them. of them. Yeah. yeah. So here I decide I need to make mighty, I want to make mighty seeker boots, but I'm like, wait a second, I have to get the discovery tab. Why don't I go ahead and use rawhide boot uppers and rawhide boot soles and then use it with an insignia? And that's how you can discover new new things. So instead of using the simple, see how it says mighty Seeker Boots Simple at the top, the second one. I decide, well, I could um, craft one of these insignias, and then if I put that in the Discovery tab, maybe it'll make a new boot. Um, a better one than the one that's stock, the one that you can do right now before you do anything. Here I'm just showing you the different insignias. One was Condition Damage, one was Power, and the other one was Health, I believe. So now I've got two components of a boot and an insignia, and would you look at that? you can craft something. So I use all these to craft a new item and now that I've found this item it will be available in my in my recipe list that was on the previous page. So I go ahead and hit craft and it says Nothing that I discovered those boots and now you can see here that I've got better boots than the simple ones that I had before. So I just discovered those and anytime from now on I can go ahead and craft them from here instead of having to go to the discovery tab to get them. And then I decide, oh well, I might as well do that with a coat since I've got plenty of supplies with me. I see that I need the chest guard um, panel and the padding. So go ahead and craft the panel and the padding. And once again I want power, so I use the mighty jute insignia, which is the power. It gives you power. And I go back to the discovery tab and put those three in there, and once again, there's a new recipe. So I go ahead and hit craft, and now I've got I've discovered this one. And I see here that I've already hit level 11 in leatherworking, which is pretty awesome. And that also increases your level, your guy's level. So as you can see, at least I think I went up in a level. I think I went up to level 9. Or I might have leveled up earlier, I'm not sure. But either way, it does give you XP down there when you do crafting, which is another cool thing. Most games, you don't get actual XP for crafting. You just get the crafting XP. So here I'm deciding what I want to do next because I'm like, well, I still have some, but I need a spool of jute thread. And I remember, oh, well, if I need thread, you can get that from the Look. leatherworking supplies from the guy who you talk to. So here's where I found ten spools of jute thread, so I bought that so I'd be able to make the next thing. And once again, I have trouble getting back into the table. And now that I'm back on the table, I go ahead and make the glove stuff so I can get new gloves. Actually, no, I think I decide that I would rather have pants here. Yeah. So I'm looking around, I'm like, oh wait, here's pants. I'd rather have pants. But I think to myself, I don't have the necessary components to make pants right now, because I go to the legging panel, when I create it, I, I'm not able to I achieve things. I'm um, the insignia anymore. Since I can't make the insignia, I see that I need bolts of jute, which, <clears throat> which I'm like, wait a second, I don't have any jute, I can't make bolts of jute, but actually I did. I just didn't realize it at the time. But I go ahead and um, find out that I have... Well, I go ahead and put my pack on. In a second. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably talking right now. <laughs> Okay, so I see here that um, all the things that I just crafted, I have to wait till level 10 to wear. So that I won't be wearing those just quite yet. And then I eventually put the um, put the bag on. So I'll have more inventory slots. Meanwhile, I basically just did the same things. Made some stuff with the leather. Um, yeah. I went here, around and got Huntsman. Here I saw, oh look, I've got jute scraps, which made me think... What I needed was bolts of jute to make my leggings, my insignia for my leggings. So I go back to the crafting station, and I'm like, where is it at? And I go down to the refinement and see, oh wait, this whole time I had a bunch of jute scraps. I could have just created all of them. 
And here's another cool thing about this game. Um, the more you make, the faster it goes, as you can see, so you don't have to wait for an hour to craft all of those things. Because, you know, usually it takes like three seconds, but it'll go faster the more you craft. So I go ahead and make the insignia, and once again, do the same thing with my pants. And I found a new recipe for pants, which are better than the simple recipe I had before. This is where I close out of it. And I think this is where we go ahead and head out, guys. So thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, Hello. suggestions, comments, post them below. And we'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye.